Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy. And I'm Henry. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Palomino HS2902. Before we get started, this camper is compatible on a three quarter ton or one ton truck with a six and a half or an eight foot bed. You'll notice on the outside we have the cool gray high gloss fiberglass exterior. Friction hinge entrance door so you simply open it up, leave it right where it is. Full size screen door. Oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. We have the ladder for maintenance purposes so you can get up on the roof. We also have the porch light right up here which is on a motion sensor. Right above that, the black box that is pre-wired for an observation camera that would allow you to see behind you the entire time while you're going down the road and while you're backing up. Right down here is going to be the pull levers for your black and gray tank. And then we also have storage integrated into the bumper here. You'll notice the power awning off the back with the LED accent light. We also have another power awning on the side here with the LED accent light. There are these black brackets on the camper so you can run the awning legs back to it. And we have demonstrated that on the side here. So you can adjust the pitch of the awning if needed. It comes with a 30 pound LP tank bottle and that will be filled by the Outpost RV. Right down here is gonna be your dump station where the black and the gray water is gonna drain out of. We have an outside shower, low pressure spray port with hot and cold water. This is a 30 amp unit and it comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Cable satellite connection. So if the campground offers that, you simply plug right in and that'll go to the inside of the camper for you. 110 outlets, on demand water heater, which means it's gas only. It's 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past, but it's only using gas when you're running hot water. We have your water fill connections, the city water on the left hand side. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, you fill up your fresh water tank on board, turn on your water pump and use that water. Fresh water on this side, so if you're at a campground, you simply hook your water hose up, turn it on and that will pressurize the lines for you. Up top here, you'll notice the blue outside speakers. We do have inside and outside speakers on here. Up front here, the red key, this is a 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all 12 volt power to the battery for you. Right underneath that is gonna be a direct line to the batteries. So you could put a portable solar panel or a battery charger on there. The camper comes with a double-sided seven-way male cord. So it plugs in right here, runs all the way down the camper and plugs into the back of your truck. If you're gonna be parked overnight or for a couple nights, I'd recommend unplugging this and hanging it right here in this holder. So that way if the batteries die on the camper, it will not drain your truck batteries. As we move around the front end, you'll notice the fiberglass cap with the rhino lining on the outside and the windshield gives it a very sharp look. We have the deep tinted frameless windows all the way around as well. This is your refrigerator vent and your furnace vent. We have the slide room here. And then if you have a short bed truck, six and a half foot bed, you can option to close this section off for storage. Otherwise with an eight foot bed, we leave it just as it is. And that concludes our walkthrough on the Palomino HS2902. Now we'll head to the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice this model has the theater seating in here. We also have the Mesa Maple interior wood color. Right inside the door here, as you have that step up behind that carpeted piece is actually where your holding tanks are in the floor. Those are heated and enclosed underneath. Your remote to run the power jacks is right here. To give it power, you simply turn it on right there and that will send power to the remote. There is also a cable that comes with it so you can charge that remote. That way you can walk around and level out the camper without it being plugged in. Again, we do have the theater seats in here and the slide room. Those will recline for you. We have these really nice swing out tables here. They have the cup holder on the side. Very comfortable after a long day to come in, sit back and relax. We have the full size refrigerator freezer combo here. Right underneath that is gonna be your furnace. We have a 110 outlet at the very bottom down here. Underneath this carpeted step is actually where your battery boxes are located, your water pump, and some other accessories. We have a residential style, excuse me, size queen mattress here. It is actually a 60 by 80 mattress. Max air vent 
up above the bed on the ceiling. We have the windshield. You'll notice it has the blind speakers up there, 110 outlets and 12 volt charge ports on both sides of the bed. Foot locker storage with the window. And then we also have this uh, really large hanging closet here. You'll notice the rod that's in there. The bottom shelf will actually lift up and you gain extra storage underneath that as well. Windows on both sides of the bed. More foot locker storage over here. Then we have your entertainment center. It comes with a 12 volt TV that is on a swivel mount bracket. Your stereo, which is AM FM and Bluetooth compatible. It is also a DVD player. The shelf underneath that will also lift up and you get more storage down there. In the kitchen area, we got a 110 outlet. Storage up top. Microwave, your range vent will vent to the outside. Nice backsplash. It is a three burner stove with the cover for prep space. That way if you're not cooking, you have that extra space. We have a pots and pans drawer at the very bottom down there. Here is a look at the three burner stove. Lots of counter space. Storage underneath. And they also put that extra step in to help you get in and out of bed there. We have the large single bowl sink with this cover on top. And as you can see, if you're not using it, very large sink area here. We do have a pantry area that can also serve as more hanging storage if you needed to. As I open this up, you'll see the rod up top. It also has adjustable shelves. And there's your power cord and seven way cord that come with it. More storage drawers down below. Underneath those drawers is gonna be where your breakers and fuses are located. On the left hand side is your carbon monoxide detector. We have your thermostat for the furnace on the left. And then also your thermostat on the right for the water heater to turn that on and off and adjust the temperature for the water. Your main control panel to run the awnings in and out, turn on lights water pump, the tank heaters, the 12 volt heating pads on the holding tanks. And right here, we'll show you how full or empty those tanks are for you. Up on the ceiling in the very back, we have more inside speakers, more shelves right inside the door here. And then we also have your slide room switch down at the very bottom corner here, right as soon as you walk in the entrance door to run that slide room in and out. In the corner, we have your bathroom, which is on a sliding door. Up top, we have a skylight. And we also have that vent. That vent has the white light around it. Medicine cabinet. We have the curtain that will pull across. Very large counter space. Large sink area. There is 110 outlets. And then also some dry storage there for the toiletries. The toilet area, that black shower pan will pull out. So that way if somebody just showered, uh, you could put that back down to keep your feet dry. And here is a look at the shower head itself. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Palomino HS2902. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give myself or Henry a call at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.